Welcome to Monograph Matters. I'm talking today with Kimberly Nesbitt and Dale Farron about their SRCD monograph on the effects of pre-kindergarten curricula. This discussion focuses on what teachers need to enter the workforce. Kim, what kind of skills do you think teachers need? How can we better prepare teachers to enter the workforce? As we tend to find little association between degree and certification uh, for teachers and their children's outcomes, I think we must ask ourselves about the focus and goals of pre-service training. I view teaching as a craft and an artistry, and there's really not a set script to be followed. As such, for pre-service training for me, needs to focus on providing a set of foundational skills that teachers can agilely apply when they're in the classroom um, all on their own. This includes not only foundational skills in ped the pedagogy or teaching of academic subjects, but also how to be reflective in their practice in order to achieve continuous quality improvement and to be critical in evaluating what works for their students. I, I completely agree. And uh, having been uh, both in a, uh, in a, a program where that was uh, based in uh, human development as Kim is now and and also most recently in one that was that was based in a college of education uh, I really think there's a there's an issue in early childhood education of sort of what's the dog and what's the tail uh, because when early childhood education teacher licensure gets housed in schools of education I fear that it tends to reflect the fragmented nature of teacher preparation in general, which is that different academic disciplines, K-12, literacy, math, science, social studies, all vie with each other for space on the course schedule. They tend to be taught independently and the students are left to integrate the pieces themselves in order to understand children in a complete way. And the developmental training that I've seen in programs that are housed in colleges of education tend to be one class in developmental psychology in the psychology department, or maybe one in educational psych. And neither of those typically covers ch children who are four to six years old. Uh, and it's difficult for those students to find the preparation they actually need to work with a classroom of young learners who are learning multiple skills all at the same time. And just young learners are far more complex than older learners. Uh, in K-12 teachers, uh, children tend to be compartmentalized and to focus their attention on a particular subject and teachers can be trained in just that one area. But in early childhood education, it's essential that teachers of young children have a deep foundation in mathematics, a curiosity about the world, an ability to use complex vocabulary and maintain children's interest and when listening to children, a skill in making sense of the sense making that children are doing. And I think that that's really, I've taken that to heart when I oversee our student, our undergraduate early childhood education teacher preparation program at the University of New Hampshire, is that as Dale mentioned, we are situated in a Department of Health and Human Services, uh, in the College of Health and Human Services and Human Development and Family Studies uh, program. And with that in mind, our students still get the pedagogical courses on how to teach science, social studies, math, and literacy through our education and math department. But what I think is really nice about and an attribute of our program is that we can provide students that deep understanding of child development and how best to support that development. We spend a lot of time providing foundational knowledge that is essential if they're going to if we're going to prepare them to be able to apply any curriculum that their school district provides for them in a way that is sensitive to the needs of their individual students. Great. It sounds like you, you both have wonderful ideas about how to prepare teachers to do the best they possibly can to teach young learners. Thank you for watching this video on the monograph issue, Effects of Pre-Kindergarten Curricula, Tools of the Mind as a Case Study by Nesbitt and Farron. If you liked this video, please consider watching our Monograph Matters playlist. For additional resources related to this and other issues of the monographs of the Society for Research and Child Development, please visit monographmatters.srcd.org.